Hello, my name is Ed Brink. I'm the Division Manager for Training and Technical Support for Meyer Supply Company. We're going to talk today about the common mistakes that happen when setting up an air handler. We want to go through the how to properly set up the function settings and request codes to enable backup heat, auto restart feature, and to change the sensing location from the indoor unit to the remote control. To set up the function codes, we're going to use the technical bulletin that Meyer Supply put together on setting request codes for PAR 33 MMA controllers. The PAR 33 controller looks slightly different from the PAR 40 controller. This is the PAR 33 controller and this is the PAR 40 controller. We're gonna talk about how to set up the function codes and request codes for each model. Starting with the PAR 33 controller, the first and most important thing that you must do before you go into the function settings of the controller is to shut the air handler off by pressing the on off button. Once the unit is off, you can go to the menu button and pe press menu. And you're gonna see a um, main menu screen. You're gonna scroll down using the up and down arrows until you get to service settings. So we're gonna scroll down to the arrow highlight service, and then we're gonna hit the check menu as enter. It's gonna ask for an administrative password or maintenance password. This password is gonna be 999. So using the arrow buttons and the plus and minus button, we're gonna change this number from 000 to 9999. So first one is nine, second one is nine, third one is nine, fourth one is nine. Once the display reads 9999, we're gonna press the enter button. It's gonna take us into a service menu where we're gonna see test run, input maintenance info, function settings, check, and um, self-check. We wanna use the down arrow button until we get to the function setting menu. And again, we're going to press check to enter. Once we get to the function settings menu, it's really important to understand that there are accesses to two different menus within the system. The first and most important address that we have to make is the refrigerant address. We wanna make sure that that is zero. We're gonna use the down arrow button to hit unit information. And for the first two settings that we're gonna make, which are function one, which is the auto restart feature, and function two, which is sensor location, we wanna access them through the group menu. So with the arrow pointed on unit number and group highlighted, I'm gonna hit the check button. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna take us into the menu and function settings. And right now it's collecting the data that's stored in the unit. Once it pulls all that information, it's gonna give us different mode numbers. So we, in this screen, we have mode one, two, three, and four. The highlighted box is gonna tell us what the setting is for that particular mode. So we wanna go and we wanna activate the auto restart feature for this air handler. In order to do that, we have to go to mode one. We wanna make sure that that function setting is set for two. So using the up and down arrows, make sure that the triangle is next to mode one. And then we could use the cursor button to the right or left and make sure it's highlighted for two. We can hit check to enter that information into the system. The next function setting we wanna make is for function two. And this is gonna to be to change the sensing location from averaging of the remote sensor and the air handler sensor to being able to sense from strictly just the thermostat thermistor. So in order to do that, we gotta drive the cursor down to mode two is highlighted, use the cursor button to move over from left to right and make sure that three is highlighted for remote control and press enter. These are the only function settings that we're gonna make in the um, group settings. In order to go back to the um, function setting menu, we wanna hit the back button. It takes us back to the function settings menu where again, it gives us outdoor unit address and again, unit number. Using the up and down arrow or the down arrow, we wanna highlight the unit number 
over to unit number one and we hit check. It pulled in the function codes of um, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Eight and 10 are gonna be used to set up the static pressure capability of the air handler. We have three settings from 0.3 inches of external static pressure, five inches, 0.5 inches of external static pressure, and 0.8 inches of external static pressure. For this particular application, I want to set the air handler up for an external static pressure of 0.8. In order to do that, we're going to change function 8 to 3, and we're going to leave function 10 at 1. So using the up and down cursor arrows, I'm going to go to mode 8, highlight that to 3, and hit enter. It's sending the data to the unit. Now I want to scroll down using the cursor to mode 10. Make sure that's highlighted at number one. And we're going to hit enter again. So that sets up the external static capability of the air handler to be 0.8 inches of external static pressure. The next two settings that we want to make are going to be function 11 and function 23. And using the service manual, we're going to determine the code settings for those two settings based on how we want the backup heat to work. In our example, we want the backup heat to be activated when there is a error in the system and when the system is in defrost. In order to do that, I need to change function 11 to 2 and function 23 also to 2. So using the cursor button, we're going to scroll down until we get to mode 11, I'm gonna push the over button to the right to make sure two is highlighted, and I'm gonna hit enter. Next, I wanna scroll down to function 23. Make sure 23 is highlighted. Use the over button to make sure two is highlighted, and then hit enter. So we just set the major function settings for the air handler. The next function setting that we need to make or the next setting that we need to make within the air handler is to change the time delay of the air handler from 24 minutes to 11 minutes for backup heat. In order to do that, we need to go back to the main menu. So we're gonna hit menu, which is gonna exit the function settings. Once we get back to the home screen, we'll navigate through All right, so from the main menu, we're going to set the request code to change the time delay that enables the electric heat from 24 minutes to 11 minutes. We're going to press the menu button, cursor down until we get to the service menu. Once the unit arrow is at service, we're going to hit the check mark to enter that service menu. We're going to enter the passcode as 999. Hit check to enter. Now, before we went to function settings, we want to go to check. So we're going to cursor down until check is highlighted, and we're going to hit enter. The next thing it's going to ask us is what do we want to do in this menu? We can go to error history, refrigerant volume check, leak check, smooth maintenance, or request codes. And what we want to do is go into request codes. So we're going to cursor down until we get to request codes, and we're going to enter that mode. We need to make sure that the refrigerant address is zero, and we're going to scroll down until we get to the request codes. We're going to use the up arrow. Sorry, we're gonna use the plus arrow in order to make that request code 391. So 391, once we enter that into the system, is gonna change that delay for backup heat from 24 minutes to 11 minutes. So we get to 391. We're going to hit enter. 
And what it's doing is it's sending that um, signal to the controller to say that now the time delay between first stage and second stage is now 11. If I want to check what that code is in the system, I can go back down to request code using the down button, and I can change that to 390 and hit check. What it's going to do is it's going to scan and see what we've put in there for a time delay, and you can see under here it says 391. With that done, we just hit the menu button or back button until we get to the home screen, and all the function settings and the time delay settings are made for this particular unit. Turn the unit on and let it run. While doing these function settings, if you have any issues or questions, please contact your local Meyer Supply representative or refer to Meyer Supply Technical Bulletin on setting request codes for the uh, MVZ, PVZ, and SVZ air handlers.